if you're a C Sharp developer and you're writing a class library for use as an in-process com server DLL uh, for use in Excel BBA, then I dare say you've probably been irritated about having to close your Excel.exe session every time you wanted to rebuild the C Sharp component because Excel has locked the DLL. Well, I have a fix for that. The answer is to create a COM plus application which gives a separate process to Excel.exe and I will detail this in this video. Also in this video I will show uh, a beautiful software application called Process Explorer written by R Mark Rosinovich of SysInternals. This beauty will track down a DLL and show which process has it loaded. So to begin with, we need a simple class library which has got enough information to be a, a com server DLL. So that's the sort of attributes here. And in the assembly info, we have to say com visible because true. And in the build, in the project properties, in the build tab, we have to have this register for com interrupt checked. And that is enough to create uh, a, a comp server and because it's a comp server we have to have this strict separation of interface from the class. This this software this, uh, this software component doesn't do very much. All it does is it returns the current process ID. Uh, so we just uh, if we press F7, oh hang on, let me make a little change. So it's building successfully. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring some client code in. This is the client code. It's late binding, but it still doesn't help. Um, it will still lock the DLL. So if I just if I just press F5 here, now what what happens is I just give it the old stuff. What happens is it it prints the process ID. Whilst this is running, we can't. You can't build the process. Even if I sort of drop out, we won't be able to build the process because it's locked. It's this the Excel actually now has that DLL locked. Let's just try and build. We can have a small change. It will complain. It tries about ten times and then retries after one second. So after about ten seconds, it comes out and says, "I can't access that DLL." There we go. Now, if you want further proof, I mean that's proof enough that uh, Excel has it has it uh, locked. But if you want further proof, this is Process Explorer. It has a beautiful feature here. If we go go find this DLL, and it will sweep all the processes and it will find it. So there we go. It's locked by Excel. If we press Excel, if we click on that there, it goes. You can go find it in the process in the in the Explorer. And here you can see it's also highlighted the fact that you've loaded it here. At this point, you have to close Excel, and this is the irritation which we're going which we're going to solve. So I'll just tear down the session. And now if I press F7 again. Okay. Good, that's fine. So, so that proves that the Excel had it locked. Now then, what we're going to do is we're going to do something different. We're going to what we're going to do is we're going to create a com plus application. So to find the com plus application uh, console administrator tools, you have to go to classic control panel view, and then double click or single click on administrator tools, and then double click on com component services. And this is the uh, Microsoft Management Console for component services. So you just go here and you sort of expand the nodes. And these are the COM applications. There's about five of them by default. And we're going to create a new one here. So we're going to go right click up here and then new application. And then we're going to go, uh, we're going to create an empty one. And then we're also going to say my new application. And make sure in the radio box the server application is, is selected. Because it says here in the explanatory text, 
components will be activated in a dedicated server process. That's exactly what you want. Uh, what you don't want is you don't want it to be created in the same process as the creator, which is the one above. So make sure you have server application here. Other than that, uh, the rest of them is easy. You just click through, you just take the defaults. Okay, so we're half done. So now we have now we have a, an application. We need to put a component in there. And I'll just grab Oh, actually, it, actually, actually, we're going to select from the list. And it goes and creates a list of all components, but I find I have to, in this case, I have to go click the 32-bit uh, registry, so it actually builds it twice. And we're going to look for class library Sifu. There we go. Fantastic. So, Okay, so what have we done? We've created a com application, com plus application called my new application, and then we've inst installed a component in there. So now, if you have a client that's going to uh, try and instantiate the class, it will not be loaded into the creator's process. Instead, it will be created into a com plus surrogate process. Let's just go get that client code back. Okay, so let's just press, let's just five now. And we're going to look at go find that process ID in the process explorer. But before I do, one point of note: if a component is inst is instantiated in use, then the, this animation takes place. So the the ball is spinning. So that's a clue as to the fact that it's actually now calling a component in the process space as as hosted by uh, the component services. If I press, if I just go F5 then the animation stops. But the DLL is, is now loaded into the complex application, but let's go find that. So we're going to do the same trick as we did before. Let's say go find it. Now previously this came out with Excel. Now DLL host com surrogate. So there you go. Okay, that's fine. So it's no longer being hosted in Excel, and it's like, okay, fine. So I will no longer have to shut down my Excel, but it's like it's still locked and loaded by a process. So if I try to, if I try to uh, press F7 here, oh wait a minute, I need to just make a quick change, the prompt to recompile. Then it's going to complain again. It's because this time it's going to be locked and loaded by the complex application. So the next tip is. Here, okay, so Visual Studio complained. Okay, so here, right click and go shut down. And that will shut down the XE. So now, if I pop across here, I press F7, it succeeded. Let's just make sure, let's do it a second time, just to prove. Lovely, so there we go. So there we go. So what have I achieved? What I've achieved is I've inserted a process such that you don't have to close down your excel.exe and I think you'll find this of great benefit so you can happily go around with a separate session of excel and you won't have to tear it down and it won't be disruptive so I hope that's really useful so thanks for viewing this video thanks